God woke me up this morning and basically put in me new mercies every morning. New mercies every morning. God will fill up all that I need for today. I use it for today, run it out, and then expect more the next day. New mercies every morning. God, fill up my account today for what we need for today. I use that and then tomorrow do it again and do it again. So here's what I want to say. I have seen God provide. I have seen God provide before. And a lot of times when we are in situations, we, we think that we're in bad situations, but God is still with us. God is still there. What I'm doing right now, this is not a bad situation. This to me is a privilege to be used by God, to be a vessel of God, to reach people wherever he tells me to go. I don't care if the Lord, wherever he tells me to go, that's where I intend to be. So this right here that I'm doing, this is ministry. I'm going where the Lord tells me to go and I'm expecting God to provide everything, absolutely every day and more than enough because my God is a God of plenty. My God is a God of abundance. My God is a God of more than enough. There is no lack. There is no lack. So because I am in him, because I follow him, because he is my Lord God, my savior, my sovereign Lord, I lack nothing, no good thing. And I expect to see it in every way. I pray every day for supernatural favor. And I want to see the favor visibly in the natural. Then I also ask and pray for increase. I want to see the increase supernaturally, but also in the natural. I'm also praying for abundance, supernatural abundance, but I want to see it visibly in the natural. So all of this right here, I'm not in a bad situation. I am in a blessed situation because I am doing the work of the Lord. I am going because the Lord told me to go. I'm ready to go wherever he tells me to go. If he tells me get out of that place and then just sit and wait, okay, then I'll just sit and wait. When he provides enough money for me and my daughter to have tickets to get out of here, then guess what? We out of here. And wherever he tells us to go, that's where we will be. So believe me when I tell you, I am actually going to be working on digital products. Like yesterday, before we even got into this hotel, the Lord started downloading some things that I will be uploading to the ministry website that will be available for purchase for, I don't want to give too much away, but God is going to have me working on materials still. This, you have no clue. You have no idea what God is doing. He already started me working on a testimonial book. I've already been working on that. But this journey right here is just going to add to it. So this is purposeful. This is intentional. God is doing an amazing work right here, right now, in me, in our situation, and in our lives. And I'm expecting God to go above and beyond because I ain't never done this. I have never just dropped everything, let everything go and said, God, have your way. I've done it to a degree, but still trying to stay within my own comfort zone. Like, oh, I feel like I have to have an apartment or I got to have a house and I got to have. But I just said, no, Lord, your will. You place me. You do. And I'm going to watch God do it all. Everything that you guys see will be the provision of the Lord. It will be by the hand of God, not my own hand. Because there's been many times and many years that I tried to put my own hand in it. I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to do that no more. I want to see God fully, completely, totally without my hands in 